Hello, everybody. I've heard from some staff that uh, a lot of students are uh, making poor choices with regards to using their Chromebooks and uh, when they're on technology in your classrooms. Some kids are watching videos, playing video games, uh, or otherwise off task. And we have Securely to help us manage the classroom in that regard. Uh, the, the district has paid for Securely. All staff have uh, access to it. And it's really easy to use to monitor what students are doing in your class and, and it offers some tools to help you manage those behaviors. In order to use Securely, all you have to do is go to securely.com and log in. When you log in, you will choose the device console option and you'll be able to log in with your Google account. Once you are logged in, you can set up a class and uh, that can be done over here on the left by adding a class and I'll click add. I'm going to do a demo and I have permission to add a couple of students uh, to the class that uh, their parents have given me permission to peek in on them even though they're not in my class right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that class and then I'm going to add some students to it. So I'll click add and you can type in a student's email address here or you can go to import from Google directory. This is the easy option. Click the tab and just put in the student's last name. So I'm going to put in my daughter, Claire. And all I have to do is select her by clicking the box. And then I'm going to add one other student. And I will be add, adding both of these students to my class by clicking import. So when I click import, both students were added and now I'm ready to monitor them. I'm gonna go over to the left again and click teacher tools. When I click teacher tools, I have the option of monitoring a class. So I'm going to go to my demo class, demo two. And in there, I will find two students who are ready to be observed. I'm going to click start a class. It's telling me that one of these students is in another class that is actively watching their students. I have permission to uh, watch this particular student. So I've already cleared it with their math teacher uh, at the junior high. And so I'm going to go ahead and start the class. When I do, I have a, a number of options that I can choose from. I'm going to quickly change this so that the duration of this observation is only going to be five minutes, but you could also set it by time for when the class ends. When I click start, I will be able to see what these students are up to. So my daughter is not working on a class right now, or, or she's not using her Chromebook, but this student is using their Chromebook. If you have a troubled student, uh, or a, not a troubled student, but a student who's causing problems and you want to pin them to the top so you can monitor them easier, you can click the pin option. You can chat with students. Um, there's a history of interactions that you can record with students. And this device view icon will let you see this, what the student is seeing on screen. This student is working on Math Pathways, is on task and doing all the right things. However, if she was off task, you would be able to delete tabs uh, that she should not be in. So it's a great way to monitor what students are doing. You can see your entire class and uh, you, can, you can keep an eye on the students very easily. There are advanced features like screen lock where you lock the student's screen, um, site lock where you lock them onto a particular website. There are a number of op options that you have where you can interact with individual students. So I could send a website to a student if I was helping them, or you can send websites out to the whole class using this push URL. You can do announcements, you can share your screen. To look into these advanced options, the tech department of course has a technology guides and tips folder set up for us. And in that folder, you'll find a securely classroom management folder. And there are uh, tips and how to's, tutorials, on how to use all the advanced features in Securely. So I wanna stress that Securely is an easy way to monitor what students are doing on Chromebooks in your classroom. You should only use it with students that are in your classroom. And of course, I had permission to check in on some other students today, but it's a great way to monitor your class and uh, manage some of the behaviors you're having. If you would like more help with Securely, please let us uh, know. Uh, any one of the coaches uh, will be happy to help you out and get you up to speed, help you set up your classes, add students, and use some of the features. Thanks a lot.